My name is James Williams Jr. and this is Kung Fu Advert number two. And I know that I'm starting this ruthless ass, stupid ass campaign that's not gonna go anywhere. But here we go. Alright, so EA Bioware, this is for you. My name is James Williams Jr. I'm a veteran of the United States Army. I suffer from PTSD when I came out of my army career that never really got to take place because I got hurt. I have basically been a failure for most of my life. I've had a psychiatrist, I wrote a graphic novel, and Mass Effect, I want to tell you guys how much this game means to me because it has saved my life from suicidal thoughts. Now my doctor gave me a, a structural system. You know, when you're feeling suicidal, um, go talk to your friends. Go find something to do. Extend your positive thoughts in your life. I didn't have any positive thoughts in my life. However, I did have Mass Effect, the trilogy. Right up into that pissy-ass ending, I had the trilogy. So I made as many female shepherds as I could make. All right? No, it's not that I am a gay man, because I'm not gay. I just would prefer if I got to look at shepherd, and shepherds most of the time running, I'd rather look at a woman's ass than a man's ass. Plus... Jennifer Hill held it down. You actually could feel her dialogue just a little better than Mark's. Now, I'm not knocking Mark because he did multiple voices on the game. I don't know how many voices Jennifer Hill did, but I know that she was basically female Shepard. Now, I'm not knocking the Mass Effect trilogy. It's a great saga. It saved my life. All right? Many times when I've had suicidal thoughts, I'd hook up my PlayStation 3. And I'd play the fuck out of Film Shell. I would. I, I would honestly, truly to God, love for you guys to remaster it, but put some of the shit from Andromeda, like the Jump Jets and Omni Tools and Omni Blades and shit, in game one. If you re, re, whatever it is, reallocate it for, for the PlayStation 4 and add stuff from Mass Effect Andromeda technology stuff in there, it would be off the fucking chain. However, this is not about the Mass Effect trilogy. As great as that game is, and it has saved my life, I mean, there have been many nights where suicide was an option. And I kid you not, it was a fucking option. And, you know, I went and I talked to my psychiatrist, Dr. Bishop. And she said, you know, if I can't convince you to not bring harm to yourself, then let me convince you on how to manage your thoughts. You need to find a way to get these thoughts completely out of your head. I said, and I told her, I said, well, I'm writing a graphic novel and I'm playing the holy hell out of Mass Effect. I said, but people keep telling me to stop playing Mass Effect because it's taking up a lot of my time. These are people who have no idea how it feels to want it in your life on a daily basis due to family stress, due to stress for other people's mistakes, due to feeling like a failure in life day after day after day waking up and looking in the mirror and totally hating yourself. So, beat Mass Effect well over maybe 300 times. Maybe more, maybe less. Because I, I was beating the game so quickly. Like, one, two, three. I would be going through them. Like, I, I beat the game in 72 hours. Sometimes, every weekend, I beat the game. And each time I played as a different character, but each time I played the game a little bit differently. Sometimes I killed Rex, sometimes I didn't. I killed Rex only twice. And after that, I felt so bad, it only made me want to like, like not play anymore. So I never killed Rex again after that. And I enjoyed the games. So, of course, you guys, this is about Andromeda. So I know that first 4 minutes and 14 seconds um, was really critical. Andromeda has done pretty much the same. You know, because I am about to start my second graphic novel. I should have started it, but I just got into so much stuff that I needed to be a writer. And so I became Sarah Ryder. Now, a couple of times before my PlayStation totally went bust, I beat the game at least twice. And then my PlayStation started going caca on the third round. And I believe we've eliminated that problem because they gave it back to me like a week or so ago and it started having problems again and me and another tech got through that. I want to talk to you guys about trying to save Andromeda. As a vet, 
you know, if, if you're not a vet, if you don't know vets, you have no idea what PTSD does to us. You have no idea how much of an escape we need. All right? Mass Effect Andromeda has done more for me than you can possibly imagine. The same thing that Mass Effect did for me the whole trilogy, specifically Game 2. The thing that that has done for me besides give me a purpose and a reason to stay alive. Before I heard about Andromeda, I'll, I'll be straight with you guys. I was on Suicide Road. I was at the edge of Suicide Lane. I was looking off a cliff and I was ready to go. And there are days where I'm still like that. And when I feel like that, I swear, I cut this game on. I cut on Andromeda. And... It gives me hope, you know. Now, I'm probably one of the only people who will ever send you a video like this. I'm pretty sure you're probably never going to see it, but I want to put this out here for everybody who loves Mass Effect. And, you know, it's a big part of my life. For it to come to an end, it's really awful. Because the writers, man, I mean, they opened up a whole new door for me to explore. I'm hoping that you guys at least give us like maybe four or five DLCs. If you're going to end it, at least end it on a high note by giving us maybe five or six DLCs. So we can go with it and we can still go through Helios and other things. Now, I have um, had a bunch of emotional issues when this came out. I was probably the happiest man alive. I only bought my PlayStation 4 for this one game. And it has made a difference. It might not make a difference to you guys, especially with all the um, negative media attention. But it has saved my life on so many levels. You guys have no idea what Sarah and Scott Ryder mean to me. They mean to me about the same as Shepard. But I like them a lot more than I like Shepard. And that most people just wanted more Shepard. You know, I do propose that you guys try to keep the game alive. I know that this one thing will never get to you, and you probably don't give a damn about a veteran who really loved Mass Effect and wish that I could live in that universe because the universe I live in sucks ass so bad. But um, let me thank you because it has saved my life on more than a couple of occasions, and I will continue to play it with or without DLCs, and I still didn't get my damn pie jack, but thank you. Also, you should probably give Sarah and... Scott more clothing than that one jumpsuit. Um, so thank you guys, and if at all possible, save Mass Effect. I'm James Williams News. Come for number two. Be seeing you.